what's up guys and today I'm doing a tutorial on the bucket games and this plugin I've had this plugin before and it is pretty awesome what this plugin like it's basically a Hunger Games plugin except this takes over your whole server you can have no other world on your server so this is mainly for dedicated Hunger Games servers so before we start, I want to give a little thanks to the subscribers lately. You guys are really supporting this channel. Alright, anyways, the first thing you want to do is download this. And you need two other plugins. Scroll down to the bottom where it says Requirements, Remote Toolkit, or Multicraft. I'll show you how to set up remote toolkit because I don't have a multi-craft server. This is actually for like you have to pay for it. And correct me if I'm wrong, because that's what I think it is. And once you're on this page, scroll down and hit download. Alright. And the last thing is Vault. And of course you need like a permissions plugin. If you don't have that, get that. Alright, hit download. Download again, and you should have three, well, two plugins and remote toolkit. So, drag bucket games and vault into your plugins folder. Open up remote toolkit, go to server dir, and drag this, these four things, and drag these four things into your root folder of your server right here alright and then open up your plugins folder because you're gonna drag the remote toolkit plugin in there so go ahead and do that alright there it is restart your server like how you normally do oh and I also forgot to mention that this plugin is for craft bucket 1.3.2 or 1.3.1 .1 version 2. So if you don't have that, you can just go to bucket.org and click right here for recommended builds. Alright, also make sure your server, the world, or level name is named world. Just like this, world. If it's not world, then just go ahead and change it. And once you've restarted your server, it should have generated a new folder called the Bucket Games you want to go to config so you can edit your kits and everything alright time limit the max game length in minutes I'm gonna go with 30 because 90 that's a very long time final battle takes place after increased difficulty after a certain amount of minutes since I changed that I'm gonna have to change this too to I'll change it to 20 so after 20 minutes, the difficulty will get harder. Countdown, 300, that's good. Duration of invincibility, this is like the grace period, so 60 seconds is good. You can change that to whatever you want. Uh, that's good, that's good. right here radius of world if you want to make it a really really small world if you don't have that many players go ahead and change that minimum players need to start the game five uh... we'll go ahead and put ten actually we'll put one just so i can show you how to how it is when i start the game use default kit false compass true you can change all this to have whatever you want like regeneration world if you want the world to like regenerate after every end of the game you can set that to true spawn chest I'll, I'll leave that as false you can set a reward system and the reward config file is right here you can change that if you want and if you want to have like leaderboards then you're you're gonna need a MySQL database. And soon enough I'll have a tutorial on that if no one knows how to use that. Pretty sure most of you guys do. 
Alright, once you're done with that, save it. And go to kits. We're going to go with kits. And see here are the kits name. You got engineer, archer, chemist, barbarian, miner, alright. All right. Default. This is if you've set, and back in the config file, if you set that they get a default kit when they join the game. This is what they get. But I set false, so I'm not going to worry about that. And here are all the kits. Make sure you get the spacing right. Everything. Items. So for a barbarian, you get one stone sword. This means like the item ID. So let's go to ID list. Two seventy-two. See, it's a stone sword. So you put the item ID, stone sword, and you'll get one. So this is an amount right here. Ability. All right. If you want to know the abilities that a kit can have, go back to the bucket games page, scroll down until you see ability IDs. This will give you a good list of all the abilities with their ID. So, let's say I want Pig Killer for the Barbarian Kit. So the item ID is 7. What this does is if you kill a pig, two pork chops drop. Like you're guaranteed two pork chops. So, I'm going to change this to 7 because it says 7. Potions. You want to look at the potions list? Go back to this thing, hit potions IDs. All right, you have a list of potions and and their effects. So let's just give this dude speed. So change the item ID to one. If you don't want them to have an ability, you hit zero. If you don't want them to have a potion, hit zero. Alright, so let me go ahead and show you an example of how I can make a new kit. Uh, I don't know what to call this one. We'll name Soldier. Alright, put the name. Enter. Space twice. And type in items in all caps, colon. Space. Well, no, you don't have to space. I need four spaces dash space again you're gonna single quote and then put the item ID so for a soldier I'll give him a diamond sword go to the items ID list find the diamond sword and it's 276 so we're gonna type that in 276 comma one because I only want them to have one diamond sword so that's all the items I want him to have space twice and type in ability in all caps make sure you spell everything right to you alright let's give him let me take a look at the abilities uh... Hmm. yeah sure we'll give him the killer ability when you kill a player your food level will be healed Fourteen. Alright. Potion. One, two, three, four. And I don't want him to have a potion, so I'll just put that. Once you're done with that, scroll all the way to the top. Don't save it yet. You're going to have to put in your new kit. So this is pretty much just a list of all the kits. So i got to put the new one in here. And then now you can save. Alright. Stop your server, restart it. Alright, once you've restarted your server, log back in. And you'll see if you press, if you go in the chat little thing, you'll see Welcome to the Hunger Games. Get your kit slash kit. So let's see that list of kits we have. Slash kit. And then see that new kit I put in? It's right there. And it gives all the other kits you had. So let me select the new one. Soldier. I've chosen my kit. 
and see if you go too far you'll notice that there's a certain area you can't get past and that's where you reach the world border alright well if you want to start the game on your own you can go to the permissions list that they have on this page and slash start is to start the game automatically slash start and see here's my diamond sword I typed in because that's what I put in for the kit and now I have it and the compass is given by default unless you change it in the config and what the compass does is if there's a the near it'll point to the nearest player so it kinda gives you a hint like if the game's going on forever you can just look at your compass alright thanks for watching guys and if you comment below for a plugin tutorial request just give me the name of a plugin that you're having trouble with and I'll try to make a tutorial on it really soon alright thanks for watching